The easiest pathway from poverty is to take personal responsibility for your own actions and follow those three rules. Graduate high school, get a job, and don't put that thing there without that thing on it before you're married. <laughs> and as far as the idea that poverty is racially based, it's, it's just not true. It's decision based in the, in the main and almost wholly. 71% okay? of poor, poor families with children are unmarried. That's the single greatest predictor of intergenerational poverty is single motherhood. The poverty rate among non-married white families was 22% in 2008. The poverty rate among black married couples that same year was 7%. So what happened to the white privilege? I thought that the country inherently is biased in favor of white people. Wouldn't the white single mother be better off than the black married couple? Answer, of course not, that's ridiculous. And the other one that people talk about is of course crime. They say that, that crime is obviously the criminal justice system is biased, that's why there are so many people of minority ethnicity and minority race in prison. It's not true. If you don't want to go to jail, there's a very, very easy solution for this, and it's don't be a criminal. Okay, the police are not going, I understand that people have, a, in, have a, a stake in feeling like the police are out to get them. The police are not out to get them. In fact, when your house is on fire, when somebody's breaking into it, you're going to be calling the firemen and the police. And you're not doing that because you think they're going to come there and arrest you. Felonies are under-prosecuted in the black community. There aren't enough witnesses. Murder is wildly under-prosecuted in the black community. Police are less likely to kill black people than white people in shooting scenarios. In 2015, cops shot 987 people. A huge majority of those were armed or threatening deadly force. Blacks represented 26% of those shot, which sounds high until you realize that nearly 50% of all murders in the United States are committed by black people. Police officers are 19 times more likely to be shot by a black male than an unarmed black male is to be shot and killed by the police. And as far as the stuff that they tell you in all your classes about the implicit bias test, right, this is the, the, you're in your diversity class, and they tell you, you can go online and see what a racist you are, right? We'll do this stupid little online test where they show a black face, and you're more likely to identify a bad word as being identified with a black face. Those tests are a load of crap. The people who actually design them say they're non-statistically significant. There is no identifiable evidence that demonstrates that racism on an implicit bias test supposedly translates to racism in real life. In fact, the results aren't even duplicative. They're not even duplicable. Okay, if you take the test twice, you're going to get two different results, which demonstrates the test is stupid. It's a bad test. Okay, how about, how about sexism, right? America's a deeply sexist country. Women are under the thumb of men. Uh, no. No. Sorry to break it to you, ladies. You're not victims. Or... Happily, you're not victims. Welcome to the freest, most prosperous country on the face of the earth for women in human history. Now, before you start shouting about abortion and how we want to control your bodies and how I'm interested in your... Uh, believe me, ladies, I am not interested in your body. My wife's super hot. Okay. It turns out the only body part of yours that I'm interested in is the part that contains a baby. That's the part I'm interested in. I'm not interested in your esophagus. I, I, I don't care about your kidneys. They're all yours. Enjoy. Okay, the part that I care about is the part that contains the baby, because that is not you. That is a baby. That is a different human. You don't get to kill different humans just because they are inside your body. Okay, as far as the wage gap is the big myth that you hear all the time, women are paid 72 cents on the dollar. It's almost worthless debunking this because it's so easily debunked. My favorite instance of the debunking actually happened during this year's Super Bowl. I don't know how many of you saw the Audi commercial in this year's Super Bowl. So Audi ran this idiotic commercial. And the commercial was this little girl driving around